Um, could you tell us how the project first came together? Uh, the project first came together, I think um, Lana and I were looking for what, what to do after Sh uh, Sherlock and um, various titles came across our desk and The Man From U.N.C.L.E. was the one that stuck. We thought we could reinvent, if you will, um, the idea of The Man From U.N.C.L.E. in a similar way that we did with Sherlock, that uh, we thought we could do a job on The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Um, that could make it accessible to a contemporary audience. Great, and final? I don't really have any, but I, I mean, I think he's, he summed it up, I think, yeah, I think it's perfect. And um, Henry and Army are so perfect in the film. Um, what was the casting process like for those guys? Um, our casting process really consists of finding actors that, sort of for a start, look right, and then uh, secondary, or arguably primary, I'm not sure which, um, is whether they're on the same frequency, um, is what we think that the, uh, the film needs to be at and so usually when we're casting we we get the we rewrite the scenes with the actors and saying what would they like to change or what they'd like to change anything and then you could you within moments you can find out if you're on the same frequency so uh, both army and Henry I mean, I, uh, Henry was actually up for the position of army for some reason and he looked rather silly with blonde hair so mm -hmm. it didn't work initially, mm -hmm. did it? And then, um, I don't know why we had the, the idea mm -hmm. of flopping roles, but anyway, there it was. So eventually he came back at the very last minute. But he was always, we, we, we were very keen to use him, mm -hmm. weren't we? I think Guy has a very instinctive also um, approach to casting as well. After many, after hours of conversations and talking to him, having people read through stuff, it's also, I mean, I, he, eventually he'll say to me, okay, I can make it work with this person. This woman, this actress, is acting, and that's when I, I know it's we're we're, we're in, we're in, you know we're, we're ready, we're in the right place. Yeah. Fantastic, and and yeah, Alicia and uh, Elizabeth are, are great as well. How how did they come on board? Uh, yes, the girls. We we got very lucky with the girls. I think uh, it wasn't. Uh, it was it was a fairly long search. I would say, um, you know, there were a number of actresses we looked at, and I think we found two young actresses right right at the sort of the beginning of their careers, both who were going to have huge careers, both Alicia and, and, and Elizabeth are you know, so watchable on screen and such great actresses and it's turned out very well for us, I think. Great. And um, Guy, this is a really uh, imaginatively directed and edited uh, uh, film, especially uh, the action sequences. Uh, they're really fun, stylish and exciting. Um, what inspired you to push the action in the film and to shoot it in such different ways? Um, well. Once we undertook the challenge of making Man From U.N.C.L.E. Uh, accessible to both us as filmmakers and to a contemporary audience, you, it was then a question of making sure that we had enough ingredients uh, within there, within the piece. To, so it did actually, the amalgam of which did make it feel like it was fresh and worthwhile. So it was a constant process of using either old uh, techniques like split, split screens or trying to do as much as we could in camera. We made a decision not to use contemporary cameras in the sense that I'm, I have, I'm quite well known for using very slow-mo uh, shots and we did none of those. So we tried to stick to a theme uh, of uh, 60s filmmaking. Um, but then within that, trying to come up with some kind of contemporary dialogue. Um, within the filmmaking process uh, and we, we decided that this we, we, we weren't going to compete with 200 million dollar movies in terms of action for action's sake so we had to have a, a new approach on um, how we were going to make our action manifest so for, for instance in a boat chase we looked at every boat chase that's ever been constructed in uh, cinematic history and we couldn't find one that was worth it Although there are a couple of funny ones mm -hmm. and whatnot. So we decided to shoot the whole thing off a guy eating his sandwich. Um, but it was traditionally that's where you put an action mm -hmm. beat. And really, the only action beat within that se section is a man eating a sandwich. So, but at least that felt fresh to us. Yeah. And we sort of had that mm -hmm. approach towards everything.
I think guys' approach to action is always, how can we make this fresh? How can we make it different? How can we surprise the audience? And I think what we're both very proud of in this particular film is that the action feels character-based. Uh, what, what, what our actors do is based on the characters they're playing. And, it, and that's very distinctive.